Hey everyone, it's Japan Demand here. And Neko. And today on our top five series, we're gonna be looking at Nendoroids. Yes, I'm so excited. I am an insane Nendoroid collector, so this one's my jam. Let's get on with it, enough talking, number five. Okay guys, my number five. Now, I really love this Nendoroid. It's Tomoko from Watamote. Now, this has to be one of the ugliest Nendoroids you've probably ever seen in your life. She's got big bags under her eyes and a long dorky skirt and all that kind of stuff, but this absolutely captures the character 100%. She's totally unpopular and nerdy and awkward and it's almost to the point where it's painful and you can just see this in the Nendroid. It's fantastic. Um, it also comes with accessories like a little massager and a pair of panties that she's ripping up. Now I'm not going to ruin it for you but they are sort of pivotal points in the anime that really sort of bring it to life and I just love it. Plus the face paint can be used for so many different things because it's so unique and weird so awesome. Okay guys, my number four is a reasonably new Nendoroid. It's Nagisa Momo from the Puella Magi Madoka Magica movie. It's a bit of a mouthful right there. <laughs> but this character was just absolutely made to be a Nendoroid. Oh my God. She's so tiny and cute with little ears on her hoodie and she's just super duper adorable and how could I not love her? She's amazing. <laughs> and the accessories she comes with are just perfect. She's got a little bubble gun. So <laughs> And super duper cute and she also comes with a piece of cheese which if you guys have seen the movie you know is absolutely integral to her character and it's just so cute it's a little slice of cheese and she's like looking up like oh, super duper kawaii and that just melts my heart love this android coming in at number four for me would have to be ryuk from death note now apart from death note you know probably easily being my all-time <laughs> favorite anime I completely fell in love with this Nendoroid. Now, Ryuk, if you don't know, is the Shinigami, you know, who tags around with light and um, basically just causes havoc throughout the whole show. And he's just amazing. The little figure comes with um, a little red apple. You know, everyone knows that Shinigamis love their apples. And he's also, um, you know, you can take the apple off and you can carry him with his uh, little death note in his hand. Um, he's also, uh, you know, you're also to put him on his little frame and make him, you know, like fly through the air like he's following someone. You know, his mouth is really cool. It opens and closes as well, so you can have him smiling or you can have him showing his like little sharp jagged teeth. We like options, don't we? Yeah, there's <laughs> options, you know. His hair, his, his, his crazy hairstyle is included. He's got this massive, you know, spiky hairstyle. And, you know, he's got his wings actually move. They flap as well, which is pretty cool. So all in all, Love, love the show, love the um, Nendoroid, check him out. Short story, Japan a man likes Death Note. <laughs> so my number three is Insane Blackrock Shooter. Mm. Now all of the Blackrock Shooter Nendroids are absolutely mm. epic. I'm proud to say I have all of them. It's mm -hmm. like my pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> but this one in particular is just unbelievable. The um, Nendroid itself is almost the opposite to Momo. She's not made to be a Nendroid. She's a hard ass and totally scary and freaky, but they've put her into this neat little package and she is amazing. She comes with a gun that's about this big compared to the Nendroid, which you guys know is about this big. It is just totally epic. And I've got to say, it's probably one of the hardest Nendroids to pose of all time. But hey, once you get it, it is totally worth it. Um, the character design as well, they have just captured it perfectly. The freaky eyes and the beautiful color palette with black and a bit of purple. Just, oh my God, I can't say enough about it. I love it. Next on my list at number three would have to be Saber Altar. Now, Saber Altar is just amazing. For a start, just look at the outfit. It's just completely, the level of detail is just highly, highly impressive. It's so gothic for Saber yeah, too, isn't it? Yeah, and it's it? just, you know, like the sword that she comes with looks, you know, everything is just detailed. It's all neatly intricate and it also comes with a, um, a second sword, which is like spewing forth some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of dark energy matter, which looks amazing. Like, you know, when she's ready to, you know, kick some serious ass. You love look, the effects. <laughs> love the effects, definitely. Now, also, she comes with um, different faces. So she comes with her, her little, you know, serious face when she's ready for battle. And also comes with a nice, you know, um, I guess like a calmer face, like, you know, more serene. Um, but yeah, look, Saber is a figure that I've only, I guess, just recently discovered. I don't know how. Boys yet. and their Saber. Kick me later. <laughs> but already she's, you know, you know, climbing up the ranks as one of my all-time favourite characters. Coming in at my number two is Ultimate Madoka. 
Now, if you guys have ever seen this Nandroid, I'd have to say you probably love it because how could you not? The character's design for this particular character is off the charts. Even Perry's mum likes Ultimate Madoka, <laughs> so she's just beautiful. The amazing little bit under her skirt where it's all like a galaxy and her wings and her bow, this thing is amazing next level Nandroid. I absolutely love her. Plus, you get to own your own little god. She's just beautiful. That's oh my awesome. God. Next on my list at number two, would have to be Hatsune Miku Nendoroid, who is absolutely gorgeous from her iconic big, you know, blue eyes to her long blue hair. The hair with is her, amazing. Yeah, you know, she's wearing her original outfit. Just amazing. Comes with an absolute massive array also of different arms, legs, faces. So really a collector's dream and, you know, able to be posed in any kind of combination whatsoever. And also for the real fan, comes with her iconic leak. So you know, Hatsune Miku is not the same thing without her little leak. And um, comes with, yeah, she's just she's just gorgeous. I love I her crazy face, where she's like, ah! Yeah, it comes with the crazy face. Oh, it, 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 it comes with the crazy face as well. So yeah, so many different combinations. Definitely one you, you guys should check out. All right, now we have come to number one. Now, my favorite all-time Nandroid is Jubei Yagyu from oh, Samurai Girls. Jubei. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, this Nandroid will always hold a special place in my heart as she's the first Nandroid I ever bought and she started the obsession. I went from Jubei to more than 70 Nandroids, so really started something. <laughs> this Nandroid is so fantastic. She's got so much hanging off her from her big backpack with all the rope to all her hair pieces and all yeah, that kind of awesome. stuff, two swords. Plus, this is really the clincher for me. She comes with her Master Samurai faceplate. So you get the crazy snake eyes and the fierce ha ah! sort of look and it's just incredible. It's the only figure I've been able to find where you actually get the option to put it in Master Samurai mode. And that's just too much for me. I just love it so much. I can't rave enough about it. Okay guys, so we're here at my number one, my all-time favorite Nendoroid. Now, surprisingly, this Nendoroid is not from an anime, isn't even from Japan at all. This Nendoroid is actually Spider-Man. Spider-Man! I mean, now I happen to be a huge, massive Spider-Man fan. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Spider-Man. I have a Spider-Man tattoo, so it was just, you know, I had to get the Spider-Man Nendoroid. Now, this Nendoroid is just gorgeous to look at. You know, it's modeled on the Spider-Man from the current range of movies, so the new trilogy. And look, everything from, you know, his super deformed head, which is highly detailed and really textured, is just gorgeous to look at. Um, comes with uh, different hands, and the hands have um, like a web shooting effect coming out, so you can like, you know, do it like you're web slinging through the city. Classic. Yeah, and apart from the traditional stand, which we all know comes with Nendoroids, uh, this particular one also comes with a cityscape. I couldn't believe that yeah. when I saw it. The city is so epic. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's like, it's like a Manhattan skyline, so you can have him like, you know, swinging through the city or you know climbing somewhere and look it's just amazing as a spider-man fan there was no ifs or buts i just had to get this nendoroid and that's why he's my number one so that's the end of our nendoroid top five what do you guys think we would absolutely love to hear what your top five nendoroids are let us know by reaching us on our facebook page twitter or even email at ijm at japandemand.com so join us next week when we look at our top five favorite anime tracks can't wait. yeah so until that one, I'm Japan Demand. And I'm Neko signing off. Matane! Matane!